Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Zemo, the dad in DPS, and we are back with another episode of The Good, The Scrap, and The Script, a series where I test out weapons and see how well they do in Appalachia. But before we get into that, don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe, and let's get on with this video. Do you remember taking the limbs off ghouls from 500 meters away? Pepperidge Farm dismembers. So, this is a special one, Pepperidge Farm Dismembers. This is a two-shot, explosive, one agility, pepper shaker. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why is there explosive on that pepper shaker? Well, a friend of mine, Genkai, as you probably will know from my streams and or the chat, has graciously loaned me this weapon. Now, a couple of things I'll say about it is two-shot and a shotgun weapon do not really go hand in hand. Typically, shotguns fire out 12 shells, well, 12 ball bearings, whatever you want to look at that. This, with two shot, instead of firing out 24, drops 13. You only get one additional thing. The main effect isn't really the focus of this. It's all about the fact that this is, this is basically a legacy weapon, and we're going to test it out and see how fun it can be with the build that I'm using. Either way, let's get on with it and see it blow things apart. So, Pepper Shaker, explosive. Why is it a legacy? Well, before this weapon was brought into the game, they removed the ability for it to become an explosive weapon. However, what they forgot to do was remove it from the loot pool of the allies in the game. Now, as you can see, this thing is freaking insane. And because of the way legacies work, it accidentally basically removed its range issue. Essentially, shotguns have a massive range deficit after a certain distance. This does not have that same problem, meaning you can hit things that are not too far away and completely annihilate them. Um, the other kind of problem is, obviously, like any legacy weapon, it does have the disadvantage of potentially killing you if you are too close to your enemies, which, in turn, is not exactly the best thing for a shotgun. But, at the same time, it is really good. On top of that, because of the way the pepper shaker works, is it can actually draw from the pool of heavy weapons, in terms of perks, and shotgun weapons, which gives it a really unique amount of perks that can be used with it, which then kind of affects the build that I'm using, which you're about to see. Alrighty, so this build pretty much utilises uh, shotgun perks and heavy weapon perks. Now, I've got one star perks of all the damage type for shotguns and for heavy weapons. And the reason for that, if you add them all together, that's a total of 60 plus base damage, which is, yeah, good. Then I put lock and load in there just so I reload faster. We have skeet shooter so that we have better accuracy and spread. Tenderizer for the more damage. Stabilize because that gives this weapon armor piercing and accuracy. Um, we've got demolition expert for the obvious reason of explosive damage. We are, you know, two perks down, which we could put over here and no, I couldn't. It's 15 strength already. I'm just being dumb. We could put it somewhere else. I'm really not caring too much about it. And here we've got adrenaline for that extra damage. And then we've got one gun army because again, this works with that. Then blade mess. Overall, a lot of perks for a lot of damage. All right, time to test Jeff's durability. I'm not gonna lie, Jeff is uh, freaking screwed. Like, I, I'm, he's, he's not gonna survive this. He's not gonna survive this well. Look at his health just drop like a clown. Jesus Christ, Jeff. Poor Jeff. And with Jeff gone, it's time for the Queen. And, you know, in typical heavy gunner fashion, I don't really care if her butt buddies are alive, so I'm gonna kill them too. Alright, come here. There we go, there she is. Let's just completely shred her into a body. You're seeing this, right? Like, she does not stand a chance against this damn thing. It is just disgusting. And what I'll say about this weapon is it's not as powerful as a regular legacy. There are plenty of legacies in game that take a big dump on this. But it's doing the 
work. And finally, we move on to daily ops. Now, I have my doubts that I'm going to get my ammo back with this gun. But, at the same time, I might. I think that did not kill him as quickly as I thought it would. There we go. Um, so we're getting around, well, you can get anything up to 16. I believe it's 18 you can get maximum. Um, it kills enemies fairly quickly normally, but that one just seemed to outlast the rest of them. I mean, you saw it up against everything else. I don't know why uh, that blood hurt. But that was, that was just uncalled for. Genuinely disgusting. You're seeing, I, I, going full auto with this thing isn't really an option because if I do I'm just wasting so much ammo. It, it absolutely annihilates anything you point at that. And that's the thing, if you aim down the sights and fire it with greater accuracy, you are going to turn anything that comes near you into a thin piece. But again, be careful because obviously this weapon can easily kill you. Um, it is the greatest weakness of the pepper shaker is you don't want things to get too close ironically with a shotgun it is one of those those situations where it is just not necessary for things to be up close and on top of that because of the way that the weapon works things getting close aren't really an issue anyway and the most part because typically you can hit them it doesn't have the range problem that a regular pepper shaker would have. So you can just lay into things at distance. And it's just, it's a fun weapon. I absolutely love it. And I'm sure Genkai is going to have a lot of fun messing with it. And if they ever do fix two shot on this weapon, where it, you know, gives that extra 20 odd, well, it, extra 20 odd, extra 10 shots, you are going to notice these weapons getting into bigger use nice than ever before. Either way, that's the That was today's video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe. If you'd like to support the channel, there are several means. You can click that uh, coffee button to donate to me directly. There's also our Teespring for the merch that you can see on screen right now, as well as our YouTube member button and the new Super Thanks button. So if you'd like to support the channel, don't forget to hit any of them. Now on the note of our members, let's thank them. So let's thank our chosen undad. We have Goldie, Deal Fame Gaming, the BDP, Bubba Doodle Mom, Scott S, TFE Archive, Philip Duda, Call, PT Buns, Devil Man Games, Twice Bakes Buns, and Peggy Midnight, as well as our dad's army members, Wyatt Blackburn, Wallers, me, Colin G, Matasbo, Marcus Carrasco, Numpty, Sickle Man, James Colshrew, Prophet, Seven Dot Back, Country Boy Stevens, and Victor P. Hopefully you've all enjoyed this video today and are continuing to do well. So yeah, it's a legacy weapon that is very uncommon in comparison to other ones, and I feel it does relatively well. If this were to have anti-armor on it, Dear Lord, the damage would be insane. Bloodied on a bloodied build, Juggernauts on the Juggernauts build, you know, all these extra little things. Two shot just doesn't really do much at the moment. So this isn't even the full capacity that this weapon could, in theory, achieve. It's going to be an absolute beast with the right rolls. And I love it. But with that, I'll catch you next time in the Wasteland.